Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download your entire Gmail inbox. That includes all of the emails that you sent, you received, plus all the attachments. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. And this is my personal email inbox for Gmail. Uh, we're gonna download everything in here. I don't know how many, uh, there it is, 23,849 messages. We're gonna download every single one of them. Uh, and the way we're gonna do that is with, with something called Google Takeout. So if you go to takeout.google.com in your web browser, this is a Google service. And pretty much for every other Google service that you have ever used, you have the option, a similar option to download the data from it. So uh, for example, you can download your Google Contacts, your Google Drive, uh, what else? If you use Google Photos, you can download Google Photos. But what we're interested in is downloading our mail, our Gmail, which is right here. Messages and attachments in your Gmail inbox or your Gmail account in the form of an mbox file. Okay, so that's that's how we're going to download that. Um, but as you can see, we have all of these checkboxes selected for all of these uh, services. We only want to do mail. So let's deselect everything. Come back down to mail which is in the M, M section, there it is, mail. And then we'll just select that box, okay? So multiple formats, what does that say? So it says email messages will be downloaded in Mbox format, which is a standard format for storing mail messages. Perfect. And then user settings are gonna be downloaded as a JSON file. That's just like all the metadata associated with it. Okay, and then by default, excuse me, all mail is selected. All, all your folders, all of your, um, all of these categories that you've set up potentially, uh, that's gonna be downloaded by default. But for this demonstration, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a subset of all of this because that's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna download just my inbox, okay? Just the emails that I received. I could also download the sent ones as well, uh, but just for brevity, I'm gonna download just my inbox, okay? Other point, if you wanna download them all, hit select all or click on include all messages in mail. Okay, so I'm gonna click on okay. And all the way down here at the bottom, we can click on next step. And this is where you can uh, pick, if you have a very, very large inbox, let's say, uh, you can expand this to a size that's larger than two gigabytes. But basically, all right, let me, let me explain this. If you have an inbox that is, let's say, uh, 20 gigabytes in size, but you struggle to download an archive that's the, of that size, then I would recommend maybe uh, keeping the default two gigabyte archive size, and then you would get 10 two gigabyte archives that you would individually download those 10 archives and then combine those, uh, extract those into a single inbox file. So um, this is Google's way of pretty much helping people who, if you ever try to download a big file with a, a slow internet connection, it probably times out or the internet goes out and then you're like 90% of the way there and then you have to start back over. So by downloading smaller files for bigger archives, then you will uh, be able to do that over a better, uh, a worse internet connection, I should say. If it times out, then you only have to repeat two gigabytes as opposed to 20 gigabytes. Hope that makes sense. Otherwise, uh, I'm just gonna stick with the default here. Two gigabytes are gonna be downloaded as zip files and we're just gonna export that once. So let's go ahead and create that export. And this will take a little bit of time for you know 24,000 messages. We'll see how long it takes, but Google will email you when it's ready to download. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward through that and I'll catch up with you when that happens. Okay guys, a little bit over 30 minutes later, I got the email from Google saying that my data is ready to be downloaded. So here is that email on my screen and they broke it up into two different zip files. So we can click on, we can either click on download one of two or two of two, but I'm gonna go to the manage exports uh, page, which is, you're gonna go there either way. And I'm not sure uh, why this is the case, but for some reason, although, you know, what we picked in the previous screen, they decided to split it up into a 4.87 gigabyte file. And then the second archive is going to be less than one megabyte. So I'm a little confused why that's the case, but what we're gonna do is download each of these individual archives. Um, and this will take, I, I would expect, um, let's see, it says 13, maybe 15 minutes. So I'll have to fast forward through this as well. And again, I'll catch up with you when that finishes. 
Okay guys, so those files have been downloaded as you can see here and we have our mbox file which contains all of our email messages and then the archive file. So let's make this screen about half screen and then we'll drag those onto the desktop. And at least on Mac, while this looks like it is uh, a folder that you can open if you try to do that, it's gonna say you need a special type of application to open that. And that's where we're gonna uh, download and install Thunderbird. I've actually already done that, but if you need to get it uh, yourself, you can go to thunderbird.net and download that should work for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So once you have that installed on your computer, I'm gonna open it, go to Thunderbird, open that application, and uh, we're gonna basically take this file, the mbox file, and import it into Thunderbird so we can look at our messages. So how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is add a, a extension. So go to Tools and uh, add-ons, and then we're gonna search for something called import export tools. Hit enter, and we want the, well, the one called import export tools ng. So let's add that to Thunderbird. Uh, we'll add, okay, and add. I'm not sure why that keeps asking me, but looks like we have that in there. So we can access that by going to tools, import export ng, and then we want to do is import an inbox files. But let's get out of here first, just so we know what we're working with. Make sure you have your uh, destination folder selected, um, or at least the inbox. I'm not sure which one. Let me see if this works. Go to tools. Yeah, so make sure you have that selected and then go to import inbox file. And then you can, you have a bunch of options here. Uh, we're gonna go with the default, import directly one or more inbox files. So click on okay. And this is gonna allow you to choose that location on your desktop. So let's go to the desktop, click on inbox001.mbox open. And this is the part that, uh, depending on how big your inbox file is, mbox file is, could take a while. So we're gonna just skip past through this. Okay guys, all those emails have been imported into my local inbox here. And as you can see, there's 32,671 messages, not the 24,000 that uh, Gmail actually reported. And if we look at this, I mean, uh, you could see here, this is uh, one of the most recent emails that I've received, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this is what the content of that looks like here. And then if we make this half screen again and pull up the actual email inbox, we'll see that this is what the original email looked like. Um, so there's, there's a difference here because Thunderbird has blocked remote content in this message. Now, if we wanna see all of that stuff, we can say uh, allow remote content from all three origins listed above, or for the whole email address itself. So that'll look a little bit more like what we'd expect it to look like. So again, locally here on Gmail here. Same thing for all of these other emails. You can go through here. Here's one with an attachment. Uh, so you have pretty much a one-to-one -one relationship between your Gmail inbox and all of the individual emails over here in Thunderbird or whatever client you do choose to work with. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Check out some more Google Takeout videos over here. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.